everybody. How are we doing today? I've got t-shirts. <laughs> well, originally when I first started this company, I was really only focused on fishing shirts. You know, long sleeve shirts, sunning and bug protection. And I didn't really want to, to bring in the t-shirts because it, it bothers me when I see people out in the water with t-shirts or tank tops or no shirt at all. In the Keys or South Florida, it's just not a good idea. Uh, but with the kind of the explosion of how well the company's been going and especially the apparel line, uh, and then finally getting in stock so I could actually wear my own shirts, uh, I started thinking like, you know what, when on my normal days out, when I'm running errands or I'm on my motorcycle driving around, I'm in short sleeves, shorts, and flip-flops, all right? So I figured, you know what, why not, okay? And that would also, business-wise, kind of fill out that category of the apparel side of it. So, okay, I figured I would do this. And this is all kind of a spur of the moment. I didn't tell anybody about it. I was just like, okay. And then I figured just to make it quick and easy, I'd get some t-shirts, just put on the front logo, and bam, I've got t-shirts. But then got hold of Coconut Ink. They said, well, there's a couple week uh, wait for the print time. So I said, okay. So I started thinking about it. And I said, well, you know what? How about if I just do the front logo and also put that logo on the back and just kind of blow it up? And then it would be more of an average t-shirt that you would see out and about. Okay, I figured I'd do that. And I started thinking again. I was like, well, how would I kind of like spice things up a bit? Maybe kind of do like I do with the fishing shirts and get that predator species involved with it. Now, I, I know I didn't want to do was kind of do what I did with the uh, fishing shirts and kind of mix them up with the two different priorities. You got the predator species as a subject matter. You got the logo as a subject matter. With the t-shirts, I wanted to stay a little bit more plain and definitely keep the focus on the logo, the all about the bait slogan part of it. So I got with Jeff and we kicked things around and I, what I wanted to do was try to keep it very basic and not get over complicated as well. So let me show you what we came up with. So like this one's the all about the bait with the blue crab. Then let me introduce you to all about the bait t-shirts. So what I ended up wanting to do was to get the logo in the larger size, but also to have the predator species kind of ingrained on there and almost ghosted. So it's actually more of a, just a hint, a secondary with the logo being the predominant visual. So what we did was we got a matching predator species, in this case, the tarpon, um, had them ghosted up. And then where it was really important is I worked with coconut ink so like this color of this shirt is sand. We took that color and then we matched it up with a couple of levels darker. And that's where we came up with this tarpon color. And then we took that color and darkened it up again. And then that's how we've got the logo, but in a darker color so it stands out more. So we still have that logo predominant, the ghosted and tarpon, but all the colors are still color coordinating. And that's what we've got there. So this is actually a 15 inch width, which is the maximum that they could print on the one screen. And uh, comparison wise, this is a medium in the sand. For the next one, we've got the good old, if you chum, they will come there. And this is a light blue shirt. And if you can see here, we match that up with, you have to match it up with, is the good old yellowtail snapper. So we've got another situation where we just basically went a couple of stages uh, darker for the actual blue and the, uh, the yellowtail snapper and then the yellow to make it really stand out and then the, the logo there. And this one is a small so you can see the comparison in size there. Next, this one is a Tahiti blue is the color and uh, we matched that up with the pilchard and for the target species on that one we went with the blackfin tuna because it's getting to summertime and one of the predominant ways is take up a live well full of uh, pilchards, start throwing them out and chumming up the blackfin tunas. So that's what we've got there. And this is an extra large. And then finally, we've got this, which is the striped mullet. And I went match this up and this is a light gray shirt. And we match this up for the mullet run. 
And we've got the shark, or in more particular species-wise, it's the black tip shark with the striped mullet. And that's gray on gray on the darker gray. So these shirts are 100% cotton, super, super soft. Now I was actually turned on to these by um, Coconut Ink. Now they have a private uh, membership club uh, called the Dive Bar. So they go out and they feature a, a dive bar, drinking dive bar that they do. They digitalize a picture of it, create a, a, a t-shirt on it, and then they send it out to their members. So they do like 15,000 t-shirts a month. And this is the same exact type shirt that they use because it's such a good quality um, and with a moderate price. So it keeps it uh, reasonable there, but super, super soft. I mean, they show me like a comparison between a normal t-shirt, the 50-50 um, the blends that I'm using for some of my uh, fishing shirts. And you compare it to this, this is just like silky soft. So huge difference there. Um, for these, I've got them in uh, sizes small to uh, 3XL. Um, just like the other fishing shirts, this is my initial run, my first delving into these. So I know there's some people that want pockets, some that want the plus sizes, the 4X, 5X, 6X. And I'll, I'll get into those later, but right now, this line of shirts, the max was the 4Xs, so that's, or 3Xs. So that's all I'm starting out with. But later on, I'll go into the larger sizes try to find some with the pockets and go from there but uh yeah i got t-shirts oh i did say i had five uh designs and these are just four uh the fifth one i'm we're revising um had to redo some uh size placements because it wasn't going to fit on the screens correctly so i'm going to have changes there and plus i wanted to kick up the color range on it and go a little bit more crazy on the colors on this one since it'll it'll really work better with it. So we'll probably look at uh, Wednesday for that one. So anyways, I've got t-shirts, uh, small to 3XL, four different colors now. Fifth one will be here soon. Uh, check them out at www.allaboutdebate.com. I'll probably start a new category, which is just t-shirts. So I keep that segregation of fishing shirts and uh, just casual t-shirts. Uh, but yeah, I got them. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.